where you'll stay. There's a place set out for you. Well, if there's enough. Is there any bread? Here. Oh, this bread's today's. It's left over at the store. Oh, canny. You never tell me about my dad anymore, Tony. Not for a long time. Seems that way to me, you know. You're a grown woman now, Rosie. Do you still need to hear the same old story? If Ma heard from Dad, you'd tell me, wouldn't you? She would tell you. And so would I. Even if he died? Even then, your dad had to flee for his life. It was me who persuaded him to leave you. Do you blame me? He wanted me with him. You know he did. Africa's not that way, is it, Uncle Tony? No, lass. I think that's Iceland. Hello, you two. Here yeah, we all are, then. Please, could I speak to the housekeeper? You can speak to me. I was looking for domestic service work and I was wondering if you needed anybody. And have you done it before? I for several years now. You've got references? Yes, several. Oh, so you've not kept to the one job. Hmm. What happened at your last place? We had words. Eee, it's awful, isn't it? Then it's a boo to a goose. I'm sorry, Henny. I doubt if you'll find a place round here. We haven't even got work for our own kind. I'm not stopping. Is she here? Upstairs. Been tramping after work all day. I told her to rest. Any luck? She got an offer. Oh, thank God. I made her turn it down. Oh, Bridget, I should be here forever. She would have done it, but I went there to check. A cafe by the docks full of riffraff. Even the manager could hardly keep his hands to himself. You are right. Bridget, what does it matter if Rosie sees when she knows all about us? I know she does. I love you, Tony, I do. Well, it's a father I'm married to. I'm sorry. I will. I'm sorry, you know. She gave us a few pence. I didn't ask for it. No, but you whine away until Bridget has to stump up to get rid of you. I'm already giving you an extra five shillings a week. She's part-time. Rose Angela doesn't even work, so I'm saying to you, every penny you beg up, Bridget, I'll cut off what I give to you. Oh, Bridget, sweet Bridget, are you going to sit there and let him talk to me like that? Like you say yourself, he's the man bringing in a wage. I'm only good for picking coals. Oh, I wish I was in Donegal right now. Sitting with a glass of whiskey. And the sun going down in the bay. It's such a grand country, why don't you go back there? Who are you? Are you looking for trouble? Not necessarily. It's just odd, the way you lot love islands. 
when you couldn't even pick an Irishman for your sin. What? <laughs> and what in the name of God is St. Patrick but the most Irish of the Irish? St. Patrick was English. Oh, I'm going to knock oh, your block off! I think you'll be safe for coming with me! Let me at him! Come back here and say that! But it's true! He was captured by pirates and sold in the island as a slave. If you know so much, how come you're out of work? They know the work gives me the time to find out. Well, maybe you should watch how you say it. Got many books, then? Few. Precious few. I got a whole library. Well, about easy. Used to be a hundred, but the wife stuffed some up the wash house flue. You're having me on. You can take some of your like. Come back and I'll show you. All right. Ted Grant. Gavin McQueen. Irish. Rosie, you're in luck. I found you a job. What? It's only temporary, just cleaning and keeping house for an artist. Ted? He lives in an absolute tip down by the river. That's how Ted's wife did her ankle. Ted's wife? Ted Grant. I met him last night. His wife's laid up, so they're desperate for somebody to keep her place till she's better. What do you mean, down by the river? It's called Cassie's Wharf, near Holborn in Shields. Where the Arabs live? Where the riots were? I said it's near Holborn, not in it. He's got his own land, Mr Stanhope. He's an artist. I heard that already. Is he married? Ma. Ah, he's harmless. Doesn't even like women. Ted says he paints now, but men and boats. And they've both got to be on their last legs before he'll do either. Well, it's only temporary I can manage. Mind you, go straight there and come straight back. I don't want you even looking at any Arabs. All right, Ma. But mind, Tinny, you'll have to give it up when Bessie Grant gets better. Ted was clear about that. <laughs> I don't want a model anyway. I don't do women. I'm busy. Go away. Mr. Stanhope, I'm not a model. I came to take Bessie Grant's place. What? I came to take Bessie Grant's place until she's better. That's if I'll be suitable. Oh, yes. Blasted woman hurt her foot. Um, come in. There. your legs, is it? All the women I had before Bessie had legs. Bad legs, stiff legs, and swollen legs. Are the stairs too much for you? Uh, no, I'm used to stairs. And how long is Bessie going to be off anyway? Can you cook? I don't know. Yes, I can. Don't tell me. Cabbage and mash. What wage do you want? Could I ask for a pound? A pound? Well, I haven't really... Bessie gets 35 shillings. You'll get the same, if you're any good. Yes, sir. And another thing. I don't mind being robbed. But don't overdo it. Why didn't you bride let me and act all offended? Because I know it's done. Yeah, you do. Well, you're honest about it anyway. 
What's your name? Rules Angela Patterson. And where were you last? In Tynemouth, at a Mrs. Barton's. Well, all right. We'll try it for a week and see how it goes. Now, I want a big meal and strong coffee, and you'll find plenty of stuff downstairs, and I'll have it in the drawing room. Rose Angela? You can take that frightened look off your face. Your dinner's ready, sir. Dinner. <clears throat> Rose Angela. Do I, do I call you Rose Angela? Rose Angela or Rosie. Uh, Rose Angela. Rosie. Um, I want the rooms dusted every day uh, with a wash leather. I hate dirt and muddle, so um, get rid of the idea that because I'm an artist, any old thing will do. Will that be all, sir? Yes. If I want you, I'll um, shout. <clears throat> I told you not to be back till three. Yes, Governor. Just taking a stroll, Governor. Well, take a walk somewhere else. The other house is private, and you know it. We were just wondering. Wondering. Thanks, Governor. We'll be here at three. Have you seen that fellow yet? I asked him. He won't come. Why not? He don't want to be painted. But did you tell him I'd give him two shillings an hour? Where does he live? I don't know. You're a liar. Pete, do you know? Nope. You're both liars. Are you sure he's a boxer? Oh, yes, Governor. A great one. He needs time. Look, if you get him here, I'll give you a pound. I'll try, but I can't promise anything. I'll make it two. Rosangela! Rosangela! I'll have a pot of tea. And can you make it strong? I'll have nothing to eat, but you can make me a meal about six. And you needn't say to clear, you can do that in the morning. Yes, sir. Anything you like in particular? No, as long as nothing hashed up. I like fresh food. Yes, sir. About ordering the food, do I do that? Yeah, of course. Bessie always did. But mind, £16 a month is my limit. £16 a month for food? Yes, for food. Why, what do you think? It's not enough? It'll be more than enough, sir. I'm glad of that. Ready yet? So he's asked you to wait. Were you not coming in? Come on. I'm it. 
some tea. We have a cup. I'd better tell you, miss. He doesn't like us getting anything. He told you that? Well, he told Mrs. Grant we weren't to come begging here, or he wouldn't pay us to sit for him. Well, he said nothing to me. Much obliged, miss. What's your name? Rosie. Your full name? Rose Angela Patterson Way. Go. I'll make a fresh pot and bring you some food later. So you found the African carving, then? Eh? Yes, sir. Bessie said it gave her the evil eye. She refused to come up the stairs until she turned it round. Well, I'll change it before she comes back, then. When will that be? Have you heard? No, sir. I expect it'll be soon. Oh, well, look on the bright side. She may be in plaster. <laughs> You read? George Bernard Shaw. Just reading the introduction. How's your last getting on, Kevin? Ah, oh, she loves the job. Funny. Bet you can't stand the man. You've told her not to interfere with the way things are run. Oh, uh, aye. Bet she can't walk, you know. She thinks I don't know. She's enjoying the rest. <laughs> read what he says about marriage. Good morning, Mrs. Anson. And what can I do for you? Excuse me, I was first. Excuse me? Mrs. Anson is one of my best customers. Are you saying that Mr. Stanhope's not? Mr. Stanhope? The man that you charge £4 a week for food. I'm his housekeeper. You're his housekeeper? Well, I thought you might know the regular woman was off because I haven't seen half the food in your deliveries that I've seen charged on the bill. Uh, listen. Miss Patterson. Uh, Miss Patterson, I, I can't explain. When you prepare to serve me properly, I'm sure you'll try. I'll be back. There's some scones just out the oven, sir. Would you like one with your coffee? Yes, yes, I would. I could smell it from upstairs. That's why I came down. Well, I won't be a minute, and I'll bring it up. You don't mind? No, sir. Make a change? Yes, sir. So, how old are you, Rosie? I'm 20, sir. You look older. Yes, I know I do. 
What have you done in your life? This kind of work? Just this, look after a house. Nothing more? Well, it isn't everyone that's lucky enough to do even that these days, sir. Well, I know all about that, but haven't you wanted something different? To be in films, a dancer? I mean, you make a good model, you know? I mean, not that I want to do you, but there are plenty who would. Well, I can't see myself getting much work around the Tyne. The Tyne? You don't want to stick around here all your life. Get down to London, you'll be snapped up. You think so, sir? Where are you on? We've got him, Governor. He'll come tomorrow. Well, the boxer? Well, why not today? Well, you see, um, he's been bad. Oh, nonsense. He's just trying to push up the price like you've done all along. Well, I'm not rising, Murphy. No, honest, Governor. He wants to come, but he took ill. Well, I'm not paying any more on account. I want to see him first. Yes, Governor. I suppose you could squeeze a cup of coffee into those carcasses of yours. Rosangela makes a good one, or perhaps you know. Sit down. <laughs> 